Morning guys. Today is Friday, October the nope, Friday, September the 20th. And leaving now for the Chatuga River. Getting ready to have a uh, two-day, well I guess it's three-day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, two-night trip, uh, camp trip with a guy from uh, from work. His name's Eddie. Hopefully you'll uh, you'll see him a little bit later. And just looking to have a, a real good uh, real good time doing some backpacking. Going to be uh, going down to the campsite where I took a day hike a couple of days back, or a couple of months back. If you go back and look at my videos, you'll see a, a day hike on the Chatuga where I went down to a very remote campsite down on Chatuga. We'll be camping there tonight, and the plan is to hop back on the trail tomorrow and hike about four miles downstream past Lick Log to a campsite on the river there too, and then to uh, hike the rest of the month, maybe two more miles out to Highway 28 on Sunday. So hope you'll hope to have some good footage for you. Got a good uh, good dinner tonight. We've got uh, teriyaki salmon over a bed of angel hair pasta with a side of asparagus, grilled asparagus. So hopefully you'll get to see some of that. And looking forward to it. So thanks for joining me. And hopefully we'll have a good trip. Hey guys. So we made it to the trailhead. This is Eddie. Hello. Eddie and I are going to be doing some hiking today uh, down the Foothills Trail. In one of the last videos you guys saw, um, I hiked from here down to a campsite that's off the uh, off the Chattuga River. It's probably about two miles in, then a, a spur trail for maybe a half a mile down. Not really looking forward to the spur trail. We're making some some comparisons on who's got the heaviest pack. Yeah, let's take like a look at this. Beverly Hillbillies hit the woods. This is, uh, that's classic right there. That's good stuff, but it's a good looking pack, honestly. Honestly, it is, and you guys have seen this behemoth before. We'll get some pictures of the gear and stuff like that as we make our way down through here. But look forward to a good time. Absolutely. Um, nothing nothing wild and crazy. I'm gonna go out and uh, camp tonight, and then uh, hike maybe four miles tomorrow, unless we like the campsite tonight too much, then we'll just stay there. And uh, but just to, just to uh, give them a little bit of a, a heads up, we've got the teriyaki salmon, grilled teriyaki salmon tonight over a bed of angel hair pasta with good grilled asparagus on the side and homemade bacon. At homemade bacon, looking forward to Cured that. and smoked myself. How about that? Tomorrow morning with some eggs. That's awesome. That's good. I almost brought some yellow potatoes to cut up and season and I fry. I did as well until I weighed my. Yeah, pack. <laughs> me too. My pack was so heavy, I decided not to. So this is where we're starting. Um, there's not going to be too much footage as we go down the trail. You guys have seen this side before. We're in the uh, Nicholson Ford parking area that's just right up from uh, Lick Log. And we'll be taking uh, seven tenths of a mile down to Lick Log at the Chatuga River. Then we'll be heading upstream. So looking forward to it. Um, we'll turn you guys back on shortly. Hey guys, so we're about 10, 10, 10 minutes into it, maybe five minutes. You seen this trail? Let's see what, what we got Eddie doing back here. There we go. We're about uh, 10 minutes into it. Just starting to hear Lick Log Creek over on the right hand side. Weather's perfect. It's probably about uh, maybe 70 something. Maybe like 72, 73. So we're getting close to Lick Log. We'll show you some of that as we get closer to it. I always wonder what kind of trout you get down in those little holes like down there, you know? When I was in the, what do you call it, the National Forest up in East Tennessee, catch little bitty brook trout about this big. Yeah? And you pull them out, and somebody who's a trout, you know, aficionado got really excited about that. Yeah. And I just caught a minnow. And it was like a native brook trout. Let me rephrase that. And it was a big deal. To, See, them. So to me, it was like, I just got this minnow on my, I think he took my bait. So you took about the... But that's what we were going to catch, and I thought we were going to catch bigger fish. So. You took about 10 of them and put them in salt and called no, them sardines. No, you're not to keep them. You have to throw them all back. Oh. 
They literally are the size of a minnow. I've camped here numerous times. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, of course, before they had the no camping here <laughs> sign. Of course. Right. Well, you can see they put it up high enough that it's hard to take down. <laughs> The trail coming down from the fish hatchery is full of little coves like this. Yeah. They're just absolutely beautiful. The sun was warm. Yeah. The trail coming down is harder than I remember. Not going to lie to you. But uh, the view is still the same, that's for sure. Good firewood. Yeah. Looks like we got plenty of dead stuff laying around. Oh, Pun punky. Mm. Now, this is always odd. When I came here last time, big fire ring was there little fire ring wasn't. I'm with you on starting a small campfire. Yeah. But you got a fire ring there, why would you put a fire ring here? I'm with you. Are we home? So, yes. There you go. Oh, uh, 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 uh. There you go. I'm sweaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're home for the night. Nice. And uh, it's a good place. Not a, I mean, tough hike in, but uh, not insanely bad. Yeah. But can I take my pack off? Yeah, it'll be tougher going back. So anyway, we're yeah. home for the night. Last time I was here, there was a scrubby up in this tree. Oh, yeah. Let's see if it's still there. That feels good. Nope. Oh, no, 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 it was over here. I don't know, I think you just didn't know it was in my pack off. I don't know, you can take your pack off. Uh, yeah, still here, right here, scrubby. Yeah. Right there. Oh, See it? nice. Now, the real question is... What's it been used for? Yeah, that's a good question too. Is the cookware still here? Oh, this is the cookware site. Yep. Oh, God, you should take that pack off. Yep. Look at this. This is insane. It's beyond me. Look. You got a frying pan. Sweet. Look at We're that frying, frying pan. In the morning. Look at that thing. That's awesome. I didn't pack that pan in because, well, one, my pack was getting so heavy I I couldn't add anything yeah. else to it. But now we can fry bacon. That's crazy. Look, you got like a, that's like a four quart cook pot back in there and a lid what is that oh there's something in a bag probably like that's oh, a human heart jimmy hoffa's head yeah. and then there's a square thing that looks like a table maybe that's that like, used to be their kitchen you know what know. that cordage is not old no it's not somebody's basically leaving it down here for 
use. That's a good looking frying pan. We don't need to it clean is. that. Uh-uh. Well, we might. Yeah. Because what if they did cook a human heart? That's wrong. All right, guys. We'll turn you back on shortly. But we made it here. Absolutely fantastic camp site. Come check out this river view, dude. Uh, well, hold on. Let's let Eddie get the... Uh, this is the retrieval. I'm just curious. So there's a water jug, like a Milo's tea. Any tea left in it? There's a grate. Like grill? Cooking grate grills, yeah. Grab that, gr that grate. There's three. Just grab the one with the handles. That one needs to be cleaned. That's okay. What is this? This it's, is somebody camps down here. And they just brought their stuff in and left this, it. So we don't have to, I think that's just a trash bag. Maybe it's silverware. Oh, there's a human leg. Uh huh. Oh look, 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 look. If you need to <laughs> non stick. <laughs> non stick. That's high quality, man. Well at least grab that good looking frying pan oh. right there. Did they use a double double constrictor knot with the midshipman's hitch? This is new twine. Huh. No. Alright. Good stuff, dude. So we got the cookware. That's plus. Well, that's some good hammock sites back in here too. Have to do some looking around for some firewood. It's uh it's 112, so Took us what about an hour to hike back in here? Maybe a little. We started a little before noon, I think. So not a bad duration hike. Um, definitely not a bad duration. You guys have seen this before. The river. We'll do some fishing. A little bit later. Alright, we'll turn you guys back on shortly. So guys, being a terrible videographer right now, and uh, it's about uh, 3 o'clock on Friday. We've gotten to camp. And uh, you saw the, the shenanigans with the, the cookware and that sort of thing. Got the camp set, got camp set up. It's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice setup here. This is Eddie's uh, rainfly and hammock, and this over here is my setup. Shown it a couple times in a few videos. I'm having to use a a donor hammock because I lost my hammock. You can see in there under quilt. Uh, top quilts inside, ready for a uh, good night's sleep. Well, not right now, but um, couldn't find my hammock on this trip. I don't know why. But uh, set up camp, collected some firewood. Got a pretty good stack for tonight, I think. And uh, just did a little bit of fishing. And didn't have any luck, or else there'd be some good fishing footage. We'll try it a couple more times. We'll be camping on the river tomorrow night too. And uh, maybe maybe later on tonight, maybe in the morning. Something like that. But uh, river's beautiful. It's just a fantastic, fantastic place. Went down a couple of places where it looked like there may have been a trail coming down to the river on the Georgia side. And uh, it didn't pan out. It was just just a beach kind of thing. There's Eddie down there fishing. Hopefully he caught a uh, fish. Uh, nothing yet. The river up here, it, it widens out some compared to upstream. But it really hasn't picked up a whole lot of flow. So it's relatively... Uh, relatively shallow not a whole lot of deep pools uh, Eddie found something down here he was letting a fish go maybe no I think he's panning for gold I don't know anyway so that's why we brought uh, that's why we brought salmon is just in case the uh, just in case the, the fishing didn't pan out. So I think this is going to be a nice place. 
Um, I think we probably will move out tomorrow for the simple reason that there's it's huge area. But um, I think I'd like to show uh, show Eddie a little more of the the river. So this is a another view just all the way across this area. There's enough room to set quite a few tents up back in here. And I would imagine if you got creative with the trees, there are a number of combinations with the trees that could work out quite nicely for hammock hangers. So anyway, like I said, right at three o'clock, I'm gonna kick back for a little bit. That's something I don't ever do, is just kick back and enjoy it. Little gnats are kind of bad, the noceums. I guess that's what they are. They're annoying, more annoying than anything else. But um, they'll be all right. Once we start a fire, the smoke will clear them away. So I'll turn you guys back on in a little bit when we start to uh, thinking about grilling some fish. So sometimes things happen when you're on a camping trip. It just make you stop and go, hmm. I'm sitting here, haven't, haven't started a fire for uh, dinner yet, drinking a cup of coffee, late afternoon coffee. And then all of a sudden, the green man comes and sits down across from me. What's up? I figured I had to get my pants back on, too. <laughs> my legs. So, sitting across from me is a, a green man with a green face. And it'll be interesting to see how he drinks water through the... <laughs> Refreshing. There you go. So if you've ever wondered what entertains folks around a, uh, a campsite before they, uh, before they start dinner, now you know. It's the green man. Hey, could you get the broom and sweep off my uh, end table? Oh, certainly, certainly. Yes. Just wait one moment. I'll get the whisk and the, the dustpan also, and it'll be, it'll be good. Did you film the fancy pan we found? You know, that, that, that's, that sounds a lot like fancy pants. It is a lot like fancy pants. It's kind of like these fancy pants that zip off. you got to figure out how to zip them back on, but I did. Now, the important thing with these, these are academy yeah, pants. I, I think you can say academy. Jonathan educated me. You have a left. Yeah, L is for left. And you have an R for right. R is for right. So, folks on... As if you were the user, not you facing me. That's, that's, now, see, I had to think it's about that, left. too. Yeah, especially, you know what's difficult? It's when you take them home and you wash them. And the pant, the legs are off, and you wash them separate, and they're sitting there on your bed. Why would you do that? Well, because like mine, my my, my legs are in my pack, and when I get home, I'm probably not going to put them on unless gotcha. it gets cold, right? So then, what you do is you have to stop and think. Now, left looking at it or left wearing it? That's an excellent point. I remember that now. Okay, so this is the uh, this is on the topic of fancy pans. So we have bacon and eggs, right? Yep, yep, yep. Got I feel like the lunch lady. You look kind of, I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with, uh, oh, I, I, grinders. <laughs> he does look like a, uh, a person in the food mm -hmm. service industry. Mm -hmm. I like the way you've got it on the side so too. You've else? got a little Rasta look there. Maybe a little Rasta fire in. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. It, it, in a minute, we're going to be steering it up. You should turn the music on or something. Did you get that? Steer, steering it up. Steer it up oh, by Marley, yeah. little darling. No, I don't think you should sing, though. You know, they might, uh, they, they, they might flag this as a copyright. They could. So, so anyway, back to the pan. Um, so we had lots of bacon. Ah, the bacon. Homemade bacon. Eddie's bringing home the bacon. But we didn't know how we were going to cook it because we didn't have a pan. And what do we find in the woods? A pan. The Mac Daddy of all pans. You know, that's kind of like the... That's nicer than the pans I have in my kitchen. I'm with, that's kind of like the earth providing for us. Mother Earth. No, I'm not going with that one, but no. it's a nice pan. <laughs> it could have been Father Earth who, who hiked it in. It's a whole kitchen over there. <laughs> I'm with you. All right, guys. So a little bit of, uh, little bit of campfire humor there, or pre-campfire humor, just the pan. That's a nice pan. Okay guys, so it's time to eat. 
the salmon's done. And this is probably the most representative sample that we've got, or a picture that we've got here. We yeah. got uh, teriyaki salmon with asparagus and a bed of angel hair pasta to go with it too. Cooked over the fire, except for the noodles. They were cooked over the yeah, stove. stove. That's okay. That's but okay. Man, that salmon smells good. You're gonna have to cut that off so we can eat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we're not gonna make you guys watch us eat, but just know that it is good. Teriyaki salmon, very easy. Two thirds part teriyaki sauce, one third part olive oil. Put it in a plastic jug and just keep uh, pouring it over the salmon as you uh, as you cook it. The asparagus is very easy. Put it in foil. Throw some butter and salt in there and cook it. And now we're gonna enjoy our food. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, guys. So it's easing up on 7:30 right now on Friday. Eddie's getting the uh, the marshmallow ready there. Getting ready to have some marshmallow time here. Hopefully we didn't use the kind of sticks that that poison you. He was talking about that earlier. That wouldn't be good. But um, it's been a great day. Good hike. Great campsite. Good meal. Oh man, food was good. And uh, looking forward to uh, bacon in the morning. Eddie brought some bacon, and I haven't. What's that? Yes, I did. Yeah, I haven't had bacon on the trail. I don't know if I've ever had bacon on. The trail. Is that legal? I don't think it's legal. I think it, there's a a law against it in South Carolina. I don't know if I would have come had it on that. <laughs> I did not sleep very well at all. Really? Yeah. Morning, guys. It's Saturday. I guess this is September 21st. And uh, I did the same thing I always do, which is not uh, take the camera in the hammock with me. So I can't give that cool shot of waking up and going, good morning, guys. <laughs> Uh, one of these days I'm gonna remember doing that. But uh, we made it to day two. It's, I don't think it's as cold out here as they said it was gonna be. I think no. it was supposed to be 53 or something. Yeah. But uh, I give it probably, I mean, we can see our breath, so I'll give it probably 60 something, or maybe, I don't know, maybe 58, 60, something like that. But uh, boiling up some water, boiling, boiling up some water for coffee and oatmeal and uh, Got a good fire going here. You saw a shot of that a second ago for uh, for bacon. So looking forward to using this pristine frying pan. Hey, whoever whoever left that frying pan here, if uh, if you ever watch this, thank you. Seriously, that's that's awesome. Because Eddie brought a lot of bacon, and we probably would be here like till noon cooking it in other methods. Anyway, I'll uh, circle back around with you guys later. We're gonna. Start a little bit of coffee and oatmeal to get us going. Yeah, I got one extra. I do. Okay, cool. Trying out the new complete on the pieces of the tool. Oh, nice. Okay. It worked. Wow. That's a good line there. Thank you. Time for some bacon. We got a pound of bacon we've got to consume. Because I'm not hauling it. And we know that there are no wild animals out here to eat it. Oh, listen to that sizzle. We we know that because we left the bacon knot in the bear bag. <laughs> Our most precious commodity on the That's right. Trip, and we didn't even protect it.
Mmm. Yum. Homemade bacon. Cured for about a week. And maple syrup and sugar and pepper. Smoked over applewood for about three hours. I brought some baby aspirin too, so after we eat this whole pound, we can take a baby aspirin so we don't both die on the trail of a heart attack. You that's gotta a, think these things through. That's a good idea. That's what I do. I like that. Okay, that'll be round one. Going. Tong shot. A bit of tongs made from the tool. Gerber nailed it on this one. And then the spatula will do the eggs in a little bit. Oh man, this smells good. A little bit of grease going in this pan too to help. See, that's where those, uh, you get through cooking these and throw those uh, golden potatoes in there. Oh yeah, and the bacon grease. Yeah, buddy. So I get the, the worst uh, YouTube video recorder of the, the decade award. So we get through with the uh, cooking the first round of bacon and I'm just sitting here chowing down on it and sitting here thinking, all right, we got the prep and we got the coals and we got everything, but I'm not showing you the bacon. All this stuff is good. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not on piece number three. And Eddie, you better start eating this stuff or I'm going to eat Look it on. how much we got in the pan. I think we're going to be okay. And I got like three or four eggs I'm going to eat too. All right. We'll be all right here. How many eggs did I bring? But this is, uh, this is absolutely good stuff, especially on the trail. Like I said, I can't tell you the last time I Holy ate bacon crap. on the trail. Let's get Eddie's. Eddie, mm. Get a thumbs up. Mm. Eddie brought home the bacon. Mm. Okay guys, so it's easing up on 9.45 <clears throat> on Saturday. We have uh, camp broken down and uh, all of our packs pretty much packed up. Put a few things of uh, water on the fire, make sure it's okay. Packs are okay, ready to go. They should be lighter than yesterday, but don't feel like it, but that's okay. <clears throat> Still be losing some food today. Went ahead and hung the uh, frying pan back up in its super secret spot over here. Right there. It's the one that's swinging the most. And uh, cleaned it out. So, whoever's watching this, if this is your super secret campsite, then thank you for bringing that stuff down. And we tried to take care of it. Put it back. I'm going to take you down and let you... Have a little view of the river. This is our camp in sight. Left a little bit of firewood for the next guy. <clears throat> it's supposed to be warmer today than it was yesterday. And then even warmer on Sunday. That's okay, we don't have very far to hike today. Maybe four miles. The toughest part will be climbing out of this out of this valley so just an absolutely beautiful place um, been hiking on the Chatuga for about 30 years. And uh, it just gets more beautiful every year. So definitely be coming back here. Hopefully with Eddie. He lives a good ways away. But uh, this would be a good, uh, what do you think, Eddie? Maybe an annual tradition, something like that? I think so. Yeah? Yes, but and then we're going to bring more stuff and add to the pile. <laughs> I'll, I tell you what, I'll, I'll lug, I'll lug in the 20-pound propane tank. There you go. Right, and you bring in the gas grill. 
All right, guys, so we'll have you back on in a little bit as we go up. I probably won't turn you on as we're going up the trail. It goes up that way. My other video shows it, but I don't know if you can see it. Going up at an incline. And uh, up and up and up and up and up. And where you see daylight is where we have to go. So, looking forward to it. Good hike. It'll be a uh, good hike. Looking forward to a good day today. And just spending some time out here. Thanks for, uh, thanks for spending time with us. I'll turn you back on shortly.